Sir, good afternoon, sir. Sir, in a yes. CBS News <clears throat> um, interview, Filipino journalist Maria Reza described the environment for journalists in the Philippines as, quote, um, <clears throat> far worse than any war zone that I've been in. She was also quoted as saying, there's no end to it. We've been living through three years of this kind of hell. Can you comment on that, sir? As Maria, my friend, is want. She is always exaggerating. <clears throat> it's only a war zone to those who are involved in drugs and who resist violently any warrant of arrest being served to them. Or when they are subject of a bypass operation and they violently resist as well as imperil the lives of the law enforcement officers. Sir, are Filipino journalists or journalists in general still safe in the Philippines, sir? Are they still safe in the <clears throat> Philippines? As safe as you are. But the Committee to Protect Journalists said otherwise, sir. No, that's their belief, but the fact is <clears throat> every journalist whether here or abroad, <coughs> excuse me, is free to cover any event in this country. And they come out alive and well, <coughs> and very good at reporting, even if it's sometimes exaggerating. Oh, na tawa kasi na. Hindi naman ako pinapatamaan ko. May follow up, Chona? Follow up ka? Other issue? MPC, Rose Novenario. <coughs> Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, sabi ni Secretary Lorenzana, uh, pabor siya sa hindi na ma-extend yung Marshall po sa Mindanao. May that, reaction na po yun. Then that will be <coughs> considered by the President. The President always say that he will defer to the advice or recommendation of those on the ground. So, kailang kaya, sir, ia announce to make extension yung Marshall o wala? Hindi pa naman niya ka ito mag-expire. Mag-expire na ba? Sa 31, sir, December pa. Eh, matagal pa pala. Thank you. Questions? Joseph. Sir, sa schedule muna ni Presidente, this week ba mag-take off siya ng, mag-ano siya, magpapahinga? Ang alam ko, Tuesday, bukas, ang start ng kanyang pahinga. Until when, sir? After yata, hindi, mga sabi ni, Sap. sabi ni Bong, and di naman siya nag-disagree dahil tatlo kami nag-uusap. Mga three days. Ah, three days off lang. Um, di naman kailangan, sir, yun ng parang official leave or anything? Di na kailangan. Alam mo, napapansin ko kay Presidente, as I told him, <clears throat> Every time you have eight hours sleep, ang ganda ng itsura mo eh. Palagay ko yun lang ang kulang niya. Palagi siyang kulang ng tulog. Yan din yata nangyari kay Bong. Kulang ng tulog, daming trabaho, overwork. <clears throat> Kahit puyat na puyat the night before, nag-basketball pa. Ang masyadong strenos. So how is this, uh, can you call this rest? I think so, yes. Or how this is going to look like, sir, in terms of governance? So... Less May rest lang yun, parang pahinga lang sa kanyang maraming trabaho. So, mostly in Davao? Ah, yes. I think so, yes. Not, no naman not related to any medical test that he has no. probably undergone? No. Okay. Uh, you follow up, same topic though? May follow up. Henry. Henry, sige. Sir, habang nagpapahinga ang presidente, sinong caretaker ng government? Oh, this is Executive Secretary Medial Dea. Okay. Not the vice president. Hmm? Ay, busy busy sa pagka-anti-drug czar. Okay. Uh, related to that, sir, yung uh, kampanya ba ng presidente, uh, yung mahigpit na kampanya na sa droga, binibitaw na ba ito ng Pangulot? Talagang wa wala na siyang pakialam. Binibigay niya na nga kay anti-drug crime czar. Meaning, wala na, wala na siyang pakialam. Binibigay niya lahat ng kailangan niya. 
Sinabi niya, I'll give everything to her para so, we will help her. Hands off na ho ba ang presidente? Not so, hands off eh, siya para ang presidente. Baga,